Hey guys, this is Alex the Rail Fanning Redneck here. We have a I have an alarm video this time. Um, this is a very old alarm horn right here. It is if you are if you are a fan and subscriber of New Age Server Alarm, then you would recognize the shape of this horn. But this is this is not what you think it is. Many people or newbies to the fire alarm community would say it's a simplex 4030 wrong and then some of the other people in the fire alarm community that have been there a little bit longer they would say oh it's an IBM 40, 4030 wrong again this is not either one it's actually a Benjamin Electric manufacturing company and um, the model number is not listed on here. In fact, this name tag is covered up with paint, but you can see it's an industrial signal. 0.18 amps, takes 110 volts. I think that's a 60 hertz. So when New Age Server Alarm made his video, System Test 28, he said it takes 12 volts. No, it does not. It takes 110 volts. I find it really hard to believe that a horn this size would only take 12 volts. And anyways, this is not red because it was intended to be used as a general notification appliance, but Benjamin Electric did build these things and painted them red for Simplex and IBM to put their name on and called it a, a 4030. Um, they also sell these in dual projector horns, but this is a single projector horn. It's actually very, very loud. See the Wheelock AS, which is the which was the loudest alarm in my collection until this came in. This thing is super loud. <laughs> I can't really describe it or how loud it is. But it's really it's really cool. I like this thing a lot. There's the holes that you mount it onto the wall or ceiling to. If you mount it on a wall or a ceiling, it'll vibrate the wall <laughs> just like how it did in Andrew's videos, which is New Age Server Alarm's real name, by the way. Um, this this little clamp ring right here comes off, and it will sew the mechanism that makes the horn work. First, they unplug it from there. That's the old power cord, and here's the gizmo that plugs into the horn. And the actual thing that makes the noise is right here. Whatever these two things are, they vibrate and they have a plate right there. And then that and then that strikes the base of the horn right here. And what that does is that makes the buzz of the horn. Let's see. If I hear it, but yeah. So you could take a typical household extension cord like this and plug it in to here. I do not know how to... Since this thing takes a lot more volts and plus it's AC, I don't know how I'm going to make it usable for my fire alarm system, but I'll find out. I mean, and if New Age Server Alarm could do it, and we all could do it, we'll just have to ask him how he did it. So... Because of how loud this thing is, we're going to. Because of how loud this thing is, we're going to plug it in to the outlet. And remember, this thing is so really, 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 really loud. So I'm going to only be turning it on for a little bit. You want to hear it from the front? You can hear it from the front too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. That thing is super loud. So it made. I tested it outside, and it like echoed throughout the whole neighborhood. It. If I put the base plate back on, it'll probably be even louder because when if it's striking the plate, the sound's going to come out of the. It's just all gonna come out from here too. So if I put the if I put the bass back on, it'll probably be even louder coming out the front once this thing's back on. And I actually plan on I plan on 
taking off all this old paint and stuff and definitely cleaning that out. I'm gonna really clean it. Uh, so I actually already cleaned out the base of this with some disc soap and all that. Don't worry, I took that thing out before I did. So I did that and I put that back in and I'm going to put a new power cord thing for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, for all you fire alarm experts out there who know a lot about vintage alarms and all this, please write in the comments how you can hook this up to a real fire alarm system because I'd love for this to be a notification appliance in some of my future system tests. And um, I'd also love to know why the, why the dynamics of this horn sound different than the 4030 that Andrew has. Some other people have have it sounding different too. The text, the dynamics of this horn is really smooth compared to the 4030 that New Age Server Alarm has, which is really rough and raspy. So if y'all can answer that in the comments too, I I would really appreciate it. And my so I can't wait to take all the paint off of this. I'm gonna make a new base coat for it. Then I'm gonna paint the bright shiny red. This ring's gonna be painted black. The screws are gonna, I'm not gonna paint the screws, it's gonna be all taken apart. So, yeah. So, from my home in Temple, Temple Terrace, Florida, this is Alex the Rail Fanning Redneck, and I'm out.